In this video, I'm just going to show you how to remove anything from a photo. Yes, so if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and smash that bell icon so that when I put up my next video, you will be notified. And my retouching actions pack is available. The link will be in the description. Just go and check it out. So let's start. So we're just going to remove everything in this photo except the bride. If your Photoshop is like this, it doesn't have the Lola. Just go on uh, view and then the Lola. This is what I'm going to use to, to align my photo. So I'm going to drag my Lola. I left click and hold and then I drag it. I can put it maybe somewhere here and then I'll go on top and then I'll left click and hold and then I'll drag and then I'll find a line like I'll find a line like this. Uh, this from here go in this side. So I'll use the ground. It's what I'll use. So I'll put it somewhere here. Control J to make a copy. And then I'll convert this copy into a smart object. Uh, I'm going to like click and then I'm going to do convert to a smart object. So that whatever adjustments I'm going to make to, to this smart object, I'm not going to lose the quality of the photo. I'm going to go to edit and then I'm going to go to free transform. So I'm going to select free transform. Or if, I'm, if I don't want to do that, I can just use the shortcut for free transform control T to free transform and then I'm going to rotate it I'll come this side and then I'm going to rotate it like this and then I'll drag this my horizontal line I'll push it down I'll drag it and then I'll push it down and then I'm balancing this line here I'm going to drag this uh, this top part just a little bit up like this even this this part here so that the photo can feel the flame so i'm going to drag this part and then I open it up like so and then i'm going to click here so i'm going to drag this line and then i'll take it back to the lula and then i'll drag even the top one to take it back on top and then this is our before this is our after the next thing that we are going to do we are going to remove the groom from the picture and our softbox. I'm going to make a copy of this same um, layer. Uh, I'm going to light like, click Lesterize layer. It's the one that I'm going to select. I'll click on it. And then I'm going to go to, to my tools here. I moved mine from this side to this side. Go to the tools here. And then I'm going to select the patch tool. I'm going to select the groom. And then I'm going to go to edit and then I'm going to go to content aware fill so the groom is gone. I'm going to select the auto and then we do OK. So we can see some imperfection there. I'm going to go with uh, the same patch tool. Now we are fixing where Photoshop didn't do the good job. We want to do that. We are going to select the adjustment that content aware fill made. Uh, control shift alt e to match everything like to match everything together like so and then i'm going to select the patch tool and then i'm going to select this part and then i'm going to replace this part with the clean part like the parts that i want to be here so i'll drag this maybe let's say i'll pick this part and then i'll select even this part here and then I'll fill it with maybe let's say this part, then I'll select this part, let's say I'll fill it maybe with this part, I'll select this part here and then I'll drag this part and then maybe fill it with this part here and then I want to select this part and then I'll drag it. So you can take your time and drag this, select it with this part then I'll drag this or let's select this part like this and then we are going to we are going to select the triangular marquee tool here you can just place M on the keyboard and then we are going to go inside our selection and then we like click and then we make a copy like we copy this part we are going to select the move tool M on the keyboard and then you are going to drag it and then put it on top of this part. 
hold shift and then you move it this side like this and then like so like this and then you can make a copy of this control j it's on top and then you drag it maybe back like this and then you make a copy of it again control j and then you drag it let's say this side again and then you make a copy of this and then control j and then maybe you drag it and then on all these selections that you made you can you can add layer masks here you just come here on the you select this layer mask you add it even this one you add a layer mask on it even this one you add a layer mask on it even this one you add a layer mask you add a layer mask on it and then you select the brush B on the keyboard you make it a little bit bigger since uh, the layer mask is white you set the foreground color to black the opacity is at 100% the flow is at 100% and then you make it a little bit bigger and then you just start painting let's start with this one so we're going to select this one and then we're just going to brush on the edges like this just to make it blend with the, the original just make it a little bit smaller Even select this, you brush the edges like that, just so that you just you can just make it uh, blend. So select this one, you just do the edges. Control Alt Shift E to match everything together. And then we want to remove the soft box here. So we'll do the same thing. We're going to go to patch two. And then we are going to select this soft box. We'll select it like so. And then we are going to go to edit and then content aware fill. And then, yeah, so it has already done the job for us. And then you are just going to do okay. So we are done. Let's go to like Tangular Market 2 M. And then we deselect this. What else do you want to remove? You zoom it in. What else do you want to remove? Let's say we want to remove this. Let's merge it again. Control Shift Alt E. So I want to make a new layer on top of it. New layer. And then we are going to select the, the healing brush. So the healing brush is on the patch to here. So just um, I left click and odd and then the tools will show up and then just choose the healing brush and then uh, make it a little bit bigger in this area this is the one that we want to replace the cotton here so just odd odd and then like click and then you let go of the odd button and then you start just painting going up painting going up going up going up like so going up going up going up let go even do the same here you sample this side and then you feel with that you sample here you feel with that you sample this side you feel with that yeah so this is how you, you you remove the things that you don't want from the photo thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video or if you learned something from the video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from me please subscribe and smash that bell icon so that when i put up my next video you will be notified see you in the next one peace